Guys, we're going to look at a strategy that I just absolutely love. I like multiplication because it can be quite complicated, but you can make it quite easy. So like the factoring strategy and like the associative property, this one is just an absolute cracker. I have a lot of fun with this one as well. So it's called the doubling and halving strategy. Sometimes in a book, it's referred to as the double and half strategy, but you get the idea. So the way it works is you do this. We're looking at a multiplication problem such as 15 multiplied by 14. Now that's way too hard to do off the top of your head. I can probably get there eventually if I give it some real thought, but straight away I've got no idea what the answer is. So the double and halving strategy works like this. In our multiplication problem, I pick one of these numbers, 15 or 14, and I double it. So I'm going to pick 15 in this case. Double 15, 15 times 2 is 30. And because I've doubled one uh, because I've doubled one part of this multiplication problem, I need to halve the other one so that I get the same answer. So half of 14 is 7. 30 multiplied by 7 is the exact same as 15 multiplied by 14, but I can do this one in my head now because I know 3 multiplied by 7 is 21, and if I add on the 0, I get 210. And I've got a nice little calculator here, and I can do a test. 15, 15 times 14 equals, look at that, 210. Just like that, I was able to do a pretty complex problem mentally just by using the double and half strategy. Let's have another look at this example. I love doing these. I could do these all day. Let's do 35 multiplied by 8. I'm going to double 35. 35 plus 35 is going to be 70. I'm going to halve 8 to get 4. Look how easy it is now. 7 multiplied by 4 is 28. Add the zero, 280. And I can use my trusted calculator to check. 35 multiplied by 8 is, boom, right there, 280. I'm on fire. This strategy is easy. Let's do another one. Let's look at something like 15 multiplied by 24. Ooh, hard. Not if you double and halve it. 15, I'm going to double that one to get to 30 because I can't half it because half of 15 would be 7 and a half. And we can only use whole numbers in this strategy. I doubled 15, so I'm going to halve 24 to 12. Ooh, that's actually not super easy for me to do. But look what you can do. You can double and halve again. You can double 30 to 60. You can halve 12 to 6. 6 multiplied by 6 is 36. Add on the 0. 360. Calculated a check. 30 multiplied by 12 is, boom, 360. Double and halving strategy. It is great fun. I love it. I got a bit excited about the double and half strategy before. So let's take this one seriously. I'm looking at a word problem here. It says, tickets to a Rabbitohs vs Broncos game cost $50 for gold section seating. You want to be up close to see Greg Inglis score. Mr. Hackett wants to buy 52 tickets so he can take everybody in five blue and five red along. Obviously, I'm joking. This is just a word problem. We're not going to the footy together. What will it cost for him to give the boys such a wonderful treat? Now, obviously, I've got some silly information in that word problem that doesn't make sense. But the important details are tickets cost $50. I want to buy 52 tickets. So I am trying to solve 50 multiplied by 52. That's way too hard to do off the top of my head, but I can double and half. I know that double 50 is 100. I know that half of 52 is 26. 100 times 26 is super easy. It's going to be 26, add two zeros, $2,600. Guys, I wish I had that much money, but unfortunately, I do not. See how easy the double and half strategy is to use, even in word problems? It's why I love it so much. I'm being serious. It's great. Boys, here's the bonus challenge that I spoke about in class on Friday. If you can give me a solution with working out to this word problem before 8.30 on Monday morning, I will give you a prize. Make sure your name's on your working out. Here's the problem you need to solve. 15 hats were sold at a concert. They cost $22 each. Use the double and half strategy to calculate how much money was spent on hats. Show you're working. I look forward to seeing as many of your solutions on Monday morning as possible. 
Good luck, boys. Hope you love the strategy as much as I do.